morning everybody welcome back to ICT classes this so this will be the last class of ICT for this year so in this class we are going to refresh some memory for the next year that is grade 5 so here at first we have parts of the computer okay first section is parts of the computer and in the second section we will be discussing about what is a computer what is an input device what is an output device and what is hardware and software okay so we are moving on to the first part of the section parts of the computer so i will show you some pictures if you know the name of the uh, device or, or part of the computer you can just say it okay and if you want to post the video you can post it check the picture and then tell the name okay so the first picture do you know what this one is i hope everybody knows this one right so just tell the name if you know the if you know the name yes it is a printer yeah so next one we have this so do you know the picture of this one this part of the computer yeah if you know just tell the name yes it is the speakers next one what is the name of this one monitor that's right it is a monitor next one do you have any idea what this device is some of you may know some of you have seen this one but for some of you you, do, you don't know so the name of this one is scanner so scanner is used to scan some of the pictures suppose that you have drawn something or you have a picture of something in your in the, uh, with you okay so you are going to scan this picture so that this picture will be in your computer it will be a soft copy okay so if you have a picture you are going to put the picture just like this you you can see a picture right there on the scanner so you are going to put the picture and then you are going to close the lid and then using some software you are going to transfer this picture into the computer so this is the use of a scanner you are going to scan some documents or pictures whatever you want you can scan these ones okay so this one is called as a scanner and nowadays the scanner and the both the printer are coming together if you have seen the printer in the computer lab there is a scanner attached to it on the top so both scanner and printer are coming together these days okay so the name is scanner now the next one have you ever seen this one anywhere most of you will like this one it is used for the games so I will tell you the name it is called as a joystick so you can see different buttons there you can see there are so many buttons there and there is a controller so this is this is used when you are playing games and everything you will be using joystick so the name is joystick okay now moving on to the next picture this one have you ever seen this one this one is inside the computer inside the system unit you will see this one have any one of you seen this one and do you can you guess the name of this one it is called as hard disk so it is mainly used to store the data whatever you are do doing you can store the data inside this one and this will be inside the system unit okay you can't see it outside it will be inside your system unit beside the motherboard and everywhere if you know what is a motherboard okay so this the name is hard disk and it is used to store some data and everything okay next one everybody knows what this one is right so this one is a keyboard yes that is correct so we are moving to the next one this one do you know the name of this one it is available in many sizes and shapes so the name is flash drives or USB you can call it either the flash drive or the USB and the shape you can there will be so many shapes okay next one what is the name of this one we all have seen this one right so the name of this one is system unit okay 
so so many of the students are calling this by box so, so many other names also but the correct name is system unit so when you are coming to grade 5 i want everybody to know this this is called as a system unit i will ask you guys what this is and you have to tell me this is a system unit okay the name is system unit don't call it as a box or something else it is called as a system unit okay is that clear and inside the system unit you will be seeing a hard disk okay now moving on to the next one this one what is the name of this one everybody have seen this one right so this one is called as a microphone it is used to speak you can speak through this microphone this side you can speak through this side okay now this one everybody knows right mouse it is a mouse yes mouse now the next one what is the name of this one everybody has used this one yeah in order to hear some music or something you will be using this one headphone the name is headphone okay i want you guys to remember the name headphone what about these have you ever seen these ones what are, what is the name of this one the name is cd or dvd discs so previously in olden days we used this you know every day and there is a, a section for that in the uh, in the system unit okay you can open a section and you can put the cd inside the system unit okay so this is called as a cd or a dvd disc and it is used to store some data if you if you can store some music or some movies small movies animated movies something like that small ones inside this one but it won't be having that memory space of a hard disk in hard disk the memory space is way too much high but in the cd and dvd too less okay so that is the difference between cd and dvd and the hard disk okay so now all the parts are done i hope everybody is uh, everybody is knowing the parts part names so we are moving on to the computer okay what is a computer first one is what is a computer so a computer is an electronic machine that takes in data stores and processes the data and then produces the information so computer is an electronic machine that, that is we are using electricity right in order to uh, open and everything we need electricity right so it takes data it takes data the input is data and then this data is being stored or processed to get information so the input is data and the output is information so this data is being stored inside the computer and then it is processing processing and then you will get the information so this is the definition of a computer so if anybody is asking you what is a computer definition for computer you have to type this one a computer is an electronic machine that takes in data stores and processes the data and then produces information is that clear to everybody it is a machine electronic machine which means we are using electricity and then we are taking data as input stores and processes the data and then it will produce information is that clear so now next one input devices so it is used to enter the data to the computer so we have input devices and the output devices the first one is input device input device is used to enter some data to the computer so if you are using a keyboard you are entering something okay so that is a data to the computer we are giving some data to the computer or using a mouse we are giving some data to the computer or even microphone so the examples are keyboard mouse microphone that is using a microphone or a keyboard or a mouse we are entering some data to the computer we are giving some data to the computer is that clear so this is called as a input device this is the definition it is used to enter data to the computer enter the data to the computer okay and the examples you have to make sure that you know the sum of the examples okay input device examples next one is output devices so it is used to get information from the computer so 
we need to get some information from the computer. So that is why we are using some output devices. I will tell you the example printer, speaker, headphones. So here you can see that in by using a printer we are getting some papers right from the computer. From the computer we are getting some papers or if you are considering speaker or headphones we are hearing some voice from the computer right. So that is called as output devices. It is used to get information from the computer. We are getting something from the computer. Okay, It can be a picture, it can be a voice, anything. But we are getting something from the computer. Okay, Is that clear? So the main difference between an input device and an output device is that input device is used to enter the some data to the computer like a keyboard, mouse, microphone and the output device it is used to get information from the computer that is example printer, speaker and headphones. I hope you guys understood the difference between input device and the output devices. Okay. Now we are moving on to hardware and software. So hardware, first one is hardware. Hardware is any part of the computer that you can physically touch, pick up, hold or move. That is any part of the computer that you can touch. Okay. So suppose that a system unit, monitor, mouse, printer, keyboard, any one of these, you can touch all these things, right? All these devices, you can touch it, you can pick it up, you can hold or you can move it, right? So th such a device is called as hardware, okay? So you, I hope you got the point. The hardware is any part of the computer. It, mu it should be a part of the computer that you can physically touch, pick up, hold or move and examples of hardware devices are system unit, monitor, mouse, printer and keyboard. Okay. Next one is software. So software is the application or programming instructions needed to make the computer, computer hardware do useful work. So computer software, in short we can say something. The computer software, we, you can't touch it. Hardware, you can touch it, you can feel it and everything. But software, you can touch it. That is the main difference between the hardware and software. So by definition, we will be telling software is application or programming instruction needed to make the computer hardware do useful work. So we want to make the computer hardware do something. Okay, For that, we will be having applications or programming instructions. So such a program a programming instruction or application is called as a software okay for example if you are considering the example you will be knowing it much better examples are microsoft word microsoft powerpoint microsoft excel games that you have installed in the computer all these are the examples of software so suppose that if we are taking microsoft word you can't touch microsoft word right you can't even hold microsoft word or you can you know do anything you can you cannot feel it right it is inside something inside the computer so it is called as a software so you, you can identify the hardware and software by using this uh, if you can touch it or if you can't touch it that is the main difference okay so software means you can't touch it and it will be inside your computer like a program like the games that you are playing or microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint anything that is inside your computer is called as a software that you can't touch it will be programs okay but hardware means any physical part of the computer that you can touch pick up hold or move okay that is the difference between hardware like a monitor like a mouse like a printer okay so this is the main difference between hardware and software i hope you guys understood so in today's class we have we are we have discussed about different parts of the computer that is the devices i have shown you the pictures and you know some of the devices and some of the devices are new to you okay and in the next section we have discussed what is a computer and next one was input device and output device and the last ones were hardware and software i hope everybody knows a clear picture of what is the difference between all these things okay so that is all for today thank you so much bye